For almost five years now, the Ministry of Education has fallen short of the approved capitation rates of 1,420 for primary school learners, 1,542 for junior secondary school learners, and 22,244 for secondary school learners due to delayed disbursement by the exchequer. When you do not give enough money to the schools, there is uh, evidence that the quality and the you know the, the performance of some of the schools may, 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 fall, fall, may fall below the required standards because it becomes very difficult for example for the for the head teachers to run the school so they have they're in that situation where it's a bit difficult for them but it is something that as a ministry we have to grapple with and see what else can be done where else can we efficiently run using these funds to ensure that uh, we are able to, to uphold the standards of our education that is required. Appearing before the Senate to answer on allocation and utilization of capitation funds, Education Cabinet Secretary Julius Ogemba revealed Treasury owes the Ministry over 59 billion shillings, crippling learning in public schools. The figures that are being disbursed by Treasury against the requirement in view of the policy of 100% transition has continuously, the numbers have gone up, the numbers of students have gone up, and the amounts have not been proportional to the number to meet the actual capitation that is given. Of the 59 billion shillings, 3 billion shillings was accrued in the 2018-2019 financial year, 6 billion in the 2019-2020 financial year, 16 billion shillings in the 2020-2021 financial year, 17 billion shillings in the 2021-2022 financial year, and 17.6 billion shillings in the 2022-2023 financial year. The figures affected the disbursed capitation, especially in secondary schools that saw each student get a capitation of 21,144 against the approved capitation rate of 22,000 in 2018-2019 financial year, 20,155 shillings in the 2019-2020 financial year, 17,495 shillings in the 2020-2021 financial year, 17,401 in 2021-2022 financial year and 17,456 in the 2022-2023 financial year. Despite the ministry's distribution formula to ensure timely disbursement of funds, there has been a constant calls from secondary school heads of a delayed funds to run schools. From the beginning of 2023-2024 financial year, Captation is now disbursed on a timely basis on the ratio of 50, 30, 20. That means for term one, we do 50%, term two, we do 30%, and term three, we do 20%. This is a change from the previous uh, disbursements that were being done quarterly. There might be some delays that uh, some schools do not receive the, receive the money on, on a timely basis when the exchequer has delayed when the capitation disbursement sometimes delay. Earlier this month, the Secondary School Heads Association, Kesha, had threatened to close down schools earlier due to lack of funds to run institution, financial crisis that was also threatening preparations for national exams due to kick off in November. Bentura Komboka, K24, Nairobi.